Hi everyone! <clears throat> Today, we're going to take a look at this news story, because I reckon that there is <clears throat> spoilers for Avengers 4 hidden in this news story. Um, <clears throat> so obviously I'm going to say Infinity War spoilers in this video, so if you don't want to hear them, turn the video off. But basically, it says, Avengers star Elizabeth Olsen wants a less revealing superhero costume. The fact that she's saying wants, that's a hint that she wants it for future films. Now, <clears throat> as we know, if you if you've seen Infinity War... Uh, Scarlet Witch basically dies in the movie because she disintegrates because of what Thanos does with the Infinity Stones and the Infinity Gauntlet. But, you know, she could come back to life somehow if time changed or whatever. <clears throat> uh, just like all of the people who disintegrated could come back as well. Like all of the other people And then we go over to this other news story, uh, which is almost as ridiculous as the last one. And it says, Elizabeth Olsen wishes her Avengers Infinity War costume showed less cleavage. Olsen said her course it was too low. This is just pathetic. I mean, they've already changed her costume enough. Uh, to make it less revealing than the comics. They don't need to change the costume anymore. In fact, they should make um, her costume more revealing so it's closer to the comics, like meaning the gypsy outfit. For those who aren't familiar with the gypsy outfit, this is it right here. I mean, if Elizabeth isn't willing to wear this gypsy costume, then I'm sorry, but like the actress playing Scarlet Witch will have to be changed. Like... But because Disney are thick shits, uh, we know this from Last Jedi, um, they're unlikely to change the actress for Scarlet Witch. So, I mean, look. Elizabeth Olsen's acting is partially good, but it's not perfect. Like, I know some people would argue that nobody's acting is perfect. But, you know, the likes of Chris Evans playing Captain America, like, <clears throat> he's more uh, closer to his actual character, isn't he? So here we have a quote from Elizabeth Olsen. It says, but then you look at where it started in the comic books, and it was a leotard and a headband, so, oh, it's horrible, it's so horrible. So at least they know that's not cool. She's talking about Scarlet Witch's costume from the comics. Now, I find this comment totally out of order. It, it's just absurd. Like, she's not only slagging off the comic books, she's slagging off the costumes in the comic books, saying that the costumes are horrible equals saying that the comic books are horrible. Like, I, I don't think that Stan Lee and Jack Kirby would be impressed by this comment. Um, <laughs> she's saying that the comic book costumes are not cool. Well, <laughs> this, is, this just makes me laugh, I'm sorry. Look, the comic book costumes are cooler than the MCU costumes. Like... <laughs> This gypsy outfit is cooler than than this outfit, okay? <laughs> so, <clears throat> what I want to happen in Avengers 4, I want them to switch realities and then Wanda comes back wearing this. Um... 
I can't imagine Elizabeth Olsen agreeing to wear it, so I guess it will have to be another actress. Um, but beyond Avengers 4, I want this to happen. Mandarin comes back, but he's actually proper in the, in the new reality. So he's actually, like, Trevor is actually Mandarin in, in the new reality. That's what I want to happen. Like, in the new reality, he's not an actor. That's what I want to happen. So, like, he gets, like, his actual, like, rings of power and all of that. So, so basically, this is what I think is going to happen in Avengers 4. I reckon they're going to go back in time to the events of Avengers 1. Um... <clears throat> By they, I mean Captain America and the others who didn't disintegrate, including Rocket and Nebula and all of that, and War Machine. Um, and, well, even Ant-Man's suppo supposed to be involved with it as well. Um, but somehow, like, I reckon Iron Man's going to get back to Earth. Probably, like, um, Captain Marvel's probably going to bring him back to Earth. And, um... Basically, I reckon Rocket, I reckon he'll build them a ship. Or he'll just, like, fly the already, the already existing uh, Guardian's ship uh, through time. And so the ship ends up back in the past, like, during the events of Avengers 1. And then Iron Man and... Captain America will probably be like, right, we got to stop Thanos in this time period, so let's go into space. So they'll be, like, going out um, into space to find Thanos, like, either during the events of Avengers 1 or shortly after those events. Because obviously, like, they still have to stop Loki because those... Um, events like still have to play out in the same way but with a, with a few differences though because obviously Ant-Man wasn't there originally but he's going but, but now it looks like he is going to be because the timeline is going to be changed um so you know I mean, they might they might even convince Loki to help them, because they could actually uh, tell Loki um, during the events of Avengers One um, that he ends up dying in the future. So obviously, there must be some reason why the original Avengers team from the first movie have all survived and none of them have disintegrated. But, um, basically, right, <clears throat> Comic Book Cast 2, um, he basically said in a recent video, what would be the point in Frank Castle turning up during Infinity War? Because he reckons that Ebony Moore and the others would just, like, kill him instantly. But, t to be honest, like, I find this hard to believe, because I reckon, like, Frank Castle's more badass than that, and I think he would hold his ground, in and he would hold his own against them. Like, what, what, does Comic Book Cast 2 think that just because Frank's a normal human being, like, that he wouldn't be able to survive against, like, massively powerful aliens? Like, I don't know what he's really getting at there. Like, I mean, look at Batman, for example. He held his own against Doomsday, didn't, didn't he? <clears throat> or was it Dark Seeds? I can't bloody remember now. It's probably both of them. Um, yeah, because like one of them was in Justice League and the other one was in Batman v Superman. So, but I know he had help fr from Superman and Wonder Woman in Batman v Superman. And he had help from Wonder Woman and Superman again in Justice League. But but also, well, obviously, in Justice League, he had help from The Flash um, and Aquaman as well. 
but you know, like, like, even if Superman hadn't sacrificed himself in Batman v Superman, like Bruce probably like wasn't have died though because he probably would have retreated, and that and that's exactly what Punisher would do if it got too much for him. He would retreat as well. Because remember, he's a trained soldier, so he he knows all about retreating and, and whatnot. So <clears throat> anyway, like even even people like um, Lara Croft, like like she could hold her own against Ebony Moore and the others as well. So like with, with Captain America, it's slightly different though because he's a super soldier. So. You can't really class him as a normal human being, even though he's kind of built the same as Batman in terms of broadness. Like you have to remember that these stories are fictional, so in the MCU, like, uh. Captain America is massively strong. Like, remember, he, like, held his own against uh, Thanos, like, by uh, clasping the Infinity Gauntlet. 